Hey YouTube, Terry from Flamingo Dog here and now we're going to continue our little series of the right tool for the right job and today we're going to talk about knives. Now you would say, you might say, why do you think having a good knife is important? Well I'm going to tell you why. First of all, let me tell you what knives I think you should have when you first start out and then I'll tell you why I think it's a good idea for you to have a good, uh, a right, the right tool for the right job so to speak. All right. First, uh, the first tool uh, that you should have, the first knife that I recommend to anyone is a good paring knife. Um, paring knife I use for everything. You can, you know, cut the stalk of celery off of the, you know, bunch. You can use it to cut up, you know, lettuce and carrots and potatoes and onions and all that kind of stuff. So um, it's small, it's uh, really easy to handle, and if you can have any good knife, this is the first one to get. The second one I would recommend is a chef's knife. Now this is a six inch chef's knife. I uh, actually wanted to get an eight inch chef's knife because that seems to be the gold standard or the stainless steel standard, so to speak. Um, but I could not afford a, um, an eight inch chef's knife. So I got a good six inch chef's knife. It was a little bit cheaper. I'm actually glad that I did. Uh, it actually, I have smaller hands and uh, I actually can uh, handle this a lot better than an 8 inch. And maybe it's just uh, because I started using it and that's kind of what I, I uh, evolved with. But uh, I actually like a 6 inch uh, chef's knife uh, better than an 8 inch chef's knife. I have one. I have an 8 inch now. I have since bought one. But uh, the 6 inch, um, I like better. All right. The next uh, thing that I have here is a cleaver. Again, the right tool for the right job. You don't use it for everything, but if you want to cut the ends off of chicken, uh, you know, off the chicken leg, things like that, this is a very helpful tool. Um, this is a uh, ceramic knife that I got as a gift. Really, really nifty. Just don't drop it on the counter or definitely don't drop it on the floor or it's a, it's a goner. So, uh, so these are the knives that I kind of have, uh, you know, that I, that I have in my arsenal. But let's talk about, uh, you know, the reason why you should actually go out and get yourself uh, at least the, a couple of good knives. Here's the deal. Um, these knives uh, are not cheap. This is probably, I mean, you can look on Amazon. Uh, I don't know, a good one is like 40 bucks, 50 bucks. I mean, you can get them 300 bucks, you know. Same thing with this. Um, this is, you know, again, cheaper than the 8-inch. I don't even know what they go for now. I haven't, I haven't looked at them. I bought these a long time ago. But, um, you know, they are... Uh, stainless steel, they're all one piece. This is a Wustoff. Um, there's the other ones I have are Henkels. I've got Henkels and Wustoffs. Uh, these both happen to be Wustoffs. Um, you know, they're stainless steel. They're one piece. The stainless steel goes all the way through. They call this the tang. It goes through the handle. It makes it very, very stable. Um, it also, a good, a big reason to get a good knife is because this knife is actually very well balanced. Um, and it's balanced. You see where my finger is here? That's exactly where your finger goes when you're going to chop. You know? So this thing is balanced right where you're going to chop back and forth. It makes it so easy. You know? Um, it makes you a much better chef than you actually are. You look a lot better than you actually are. Um, you know, same thing with this knife, same deal. Um, I mean, it's weighted, uh, you know, right kind of where you put your finger and where you're going to chop. Um, you know, this isn't really a chopping knife, but you know, when you cut your celery or potatoes up or your onions or whatever you're going to do. So, you know, do yourself a favor, go out, um, you know, treat yourself on at least these two knives. These are the most important knives any beginning cook, chef, uh, home cook should have. Keep it sharp. Um, you know, you can get sharpeners out there. Uh, I can do that, another video on sharpening knives. I'm not really that good at sharpening knives, so I probably won't do a video, but there's a million videos out there on sharpening knives. Um, and uh, that's pretty much it. Um, chef's knife, paring knife. Hey, thanks for watching, Flamingo Dog. Uh, if you like what you see, please uh, subscribe, and uh, we'll do a couple more of these things uh, with some handy dandy, uh, you know, tools that uh, the right tool for the right job. Thanks a lot.